Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric and last month I got to revisit after five years Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. These parks are centered near Moab, they're beautiful desert parks, I had great times in both, and today I will determine which one I like better. Before I begin, thank you for getting the 150 subscribers, this is a great milestone. This is my 150 sub special, I hope to get 200 soon, thank you so much for that. And also keep in mind, this is based on my experience, it's solely my opinions, we all will have different thoughts on which one's our favorite, but now I'm going to recount my time in Canyonlands. A little bit of background on Canyonlands, when I went 5 years ago, this was only a few hours and we spent more time in arches. Saw a few overlooks and a few hikes, but really not that much. This time when we went back, we were a little unconcerned because of the really bad weather. There was a snowstorm, so we could not see past any overlooks. Schaefer Canyon was the one we got to see. It was really, really beautiful. So I thought we definitely were going to have to go back to the park the next day. So the first day, we really didn't do anything. But the day after we went to Arches, which I have a whole video on, and... I will kind of summarize that later. Canyonlands, we went back to Dead Horse Point State Park first. I thought the views were beautiful. Massive canyons, not quite as amazing as like Grand Canyon or Zion, but very beautiful for sure. Mesa Arch was stunning. We went pretty early morning, so great lighting. Such a beautiful sight. Other things, different overlooks. It really was just a beautiful park. I love the Island of the Sky area. The canyons are cool, they have many different features about them. There's a lot more variety than Grand Canyon, I'll say that. While I don't think the canyon views live up to some other parks, it's definitely a fairly overlooked one, and very, very beautiful. And that's not even taking into account my favorite area, the Needles. Needles is different. It's a lot more like a mountain-based park. It's a lot more like Arches and Zion that way, where you are below this stuff. There's still canyons, but there's these really cool ones of different colors and shapes, and walking in the backcountry sort of area of Needles is great. We did some short trails like Cave Spring, but Chesler Park View, I highly recommend. I will get into that trail more later, but now let's turn our attention toward Arches. Arches, I did pretty much everything I did on my first trip, so we have a pretty fair comparison here. Redoing some trails was absolutely amazing. I loved Park Avenue, and as I have a channel called Theme Park Avenue, I thought it was kind of fun to go there. Balanced Rock was a really cool site. I really enjoyed Skyline Arch, where I saw some deer. Tower Arch was a fun trail where I had an interesting experience. Devil's Garden is stunning. And then, of course, my favorite trail, Delicate Arch. Now, we are going to get into some comparisons about the parks. That's a bit of a rundown of each one. So let's start off. Which park is more beautiful? This is entirely subjective, in my opinion. However, it's gotta go to Canyonlands for me. Arches is stunning. When I first went, I thought it seemed small scale, but it has so many more massive things than I remember. Great canyons. The arches are big and really cool, colorful, really, really amazing. I love looking at the park. But Canyonlands, when you're taking into account Island of the Sky and Needles, it's not easy to beat. The Island of the Sky area is beautiful. You're looking down at pretty big canyons. You can see river, you can see many different layers and levels. The Needles area is so much different, but I liked it a lot more. I thought it was really, really cool. It's hard to describe. And the photos don't quite do it justice. It's just a really amazing one. Now for hiking. Hiking is what I do most in parks. And this is very tough to say. But it ultimately comes down to Delicate Arch or Chesler Park. Arches has more family-based trails. Canyonlands has a lot of big backcountry stuff. If you're going with families, I'd say Arches has better hikes. However, if you're up for a more strenuous one, I say Chesler Park over Delicate Arch. I'm surprised I'm saying this, but I truly believe that there's more scenery and I took more photos somehow on Chesler Park. It is beautiful. Expansive, so much variety, fairly strenuous, there's a lot of different kind of paths you have to do, but there's so much to see. Delicate Arch has a great end result and the trail leading up to it is also fantastic, but I think Chesler Park is better. 
Now a few throwaway ones, wildlife goes to archers because we saw deer there and didn't really see any animals at Canyonlands. Also, I should mention, um, photos come out a little better in archers, I think lighting is normally better there. And delicate arch, of course, those classic photos. But those are less important categories. For me, it really is scenery and hiking that is most important. Now, I can mention minor issues with each park. One thing for Arches is that it's a very popular park. When we went, there was a decent line to get in, and by the time we were halfway up the road that goes up this sort of cliff, the line was all the way to the exit road. So this park gets crowded. Crowds do not turn me off, really. The only thing that does is when those crowds are full of the kinds of people who really like to, um, they're more casual visitors, I'll put it that way. They don't do things that you really should do in a park, following rules like staying on trail. That always slightly bugs me. That's a lot more an issue in Arches than Canyonlands. Not to say it's a big issue with Arches, though. The other thing to point out is that Arches is a bit small. You can do nearly everything in the park in two days. And when you have a lot more to do in a park, that honestly benefits it. These complaints about Arches, they're not things that make it worse, but they are things that, if they were not an issue, would make the park better. Because I do really love Arches. Canyonlands, the ultimate issue, the thing that does make the whole experience a little tough. I'm not counting the weather, because that's going to be different for everyone. The fact that it takes 90 minutes to get from Island in the Sky to Needles is a little bit unfortunate for many because I'm not normally one who's really upset when you have to drive extra to get from an area in the park. I mean, I love driving around Yellowstone and Death Valley. One thing to note is that the road is not all that exciting and it felt like a lot more than 90 minutes to me. Once you get to a certain point, it's really awesome. But if you're the kind of person who does not like going to an area that's really far from the main park, that's still part of it, you may not want to do this. Especially if you're staying like in Moab the whole time. The reason we went is because it was kind of on the way to where we were staying in southwest Colorado. But if we were not going there and had to go back to Moab, it would have been a good four hours. And that is a little unfortunate. That said, not really an issue with Canyonlands. There really aren't issues with Canyonlands. And that's why overall, which park do I think is the better Utah park? I honestly now say Canyonlands. It was definitely Archers after my first trip, but Canyonlands is just such a beautiful place. There's a lot more to see, honestly, more variety, a little more to do. Archers is great, but I have to give an edge to Canyonlands now, and I definitely recommend you visit. And that is my thoughts on the two great Southeast Utah parks. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks again for 150 subscribers. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, I'll see you next time.